May God bless you and your family today and always with this thought let's start our today's session of videos now in the previous videos we have discussed so many things about the mixture how to separate those mixture in one or different way in the previous topics which we have discussed in the chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 we have discussed mainly the formation of the mixture or you can say that whenever mixture is formed we have discussed so many changes during this combination so today we are going to study about these different changes whenever the formation of mixture takes place whenever these substance combine together some physical and chemical changes occur during this process in our junior classes also we have discussed about these two types of changes that is physical and chemical change mainly when physical change occurs during the formation of a mixture only the physical properties of the substance will change like shape size color state as we have discussed in the first chapter for example when we take the example of ice in ice when we give heat energy the ice will start converting into liquid and when we provide the more heat energy to the liquid it will convert into vapors mainly these physical changes can be reversed back but on the other hand when we talk about chemical change when two substances or more than two substances combine together in a fixed ratio as we have discussed in the second chapter they form the new substance and the properties of this new substance is totally different from the substances which are mixed together to form new compound and in chemical change we can say that these changes cannot be reversed most of the chemical changes cannot be reversed or you can say that the new compound which is formed cannot be decomposed into their reactants let us understand the difference between physical and chemical change with the upcoming video in more better way physical and chemical changes look at these leaves the first leaf is fresh and green while the other is dry and brown can we make the dry leaf fresh again well we cannot do so and that is because the leaves have undergone a chemical change that cannot be reversed all the changes that take place in our surroundings are either physical or chemical changes let us learn more about these changes when water is frozen it forms ice However, ice and water are made up of the same type of substance that is water molecules. This means that freezing just changed the physical form of water from liquid to solid, but the molecules inside remain the same. Such a change where only the physical properties of the substance change and no new substance is formed is called a physical change. The formation of ice can be easily reversed by heating the ice to form water. Most physical changes can be reversed. Melting of an ice cream, chopping off wood, bending of a wire, breaking of a glass and breaking of a pencil are physical changes. Now look at this log of wood. Even after being cut from the tree, the wood remained same. But what happens when this log of wood is set to fire? Upon burning, the wood changes into ash. Ash is a new substance which has different chemical properties than wood, and it cannot be changed back into wood again. Such a change, where the chemical properties of the substance change and a new substance is formed, is called a chemical change. 
chemical changes are mostly irreversible. Burning of paper, rusting of iron, cooking of rice, curdling of milk and ripening of fruits are chemical changes. So now you know all about physical and chemical changes. I hope you have understood all the topics related to the chapter number 2. Now for further query please write down your doubts in comment box during the video session as well as you can ask your queries through online sessions. Thank you. Have a nice day.